Good day, everyone. I'm back for another lecture. Um, in this lecture, I will be discussing to you informal fallacies. Okay, fallacy. It designates any mistaken idea or false belief. When you say fallacy, false belief or mistaken idea or false. It is a type of incorrect argument. That is incorrect argument. A type of argument that may seem to be correct but which proves upon examination not to be so. So there are two divisions of philosophy, formal and informal fallacy. And in the informal fallacies, informal fallacies are divided into three fallacies of relevance, fallacies of ambiguity, and grammatical an analogy. That is for informal fallacies. What we'll be discussing in today's lecture is all about informal fallacies so which which are divided or classified into fallacies of relevance fallacies of ambiguity and grammatical analogy so we'll start with fallacies of relevance okay fallacies of relevance number one argumentum ad baculum appeal to force what is argumentum ad baculum or appeal to force it is a fa fallacy committed with one appeals to force or the threat of force is to cause acceptance of a conclusion. Might makes right. Meaning, um, you wanted to, um, you, you use force, diba? You use force um, in, in your argument. In, in argumentum ad baculum, once you use force, um, you appeal to force or use the threat of force to make your argument be accepted or your conclusion be accepted, and that is considered fallacy, diba? Argumentum ad baculum. Example, I warn you not to, be, not to continue your candidacy because if you persist, then you will swim. Swim na siya ha? Swim. Then you will swim in your own blood. That is... Fallacy. Argumentum ad baculum. Appeal to force. Si gamitan niya og force, di ba? To, to cause acceptance or to make uh, to make his or her argument be accepted. But that is um, that is a fallacy. Pwede po nga, oh ma'am, sir, pagdili ko ni mo papasaron. Pagdili ko ni mo papasaron. Um, putlan tikag ulo. That is fallacy. Di ba? That is a mistaken belief. Appeal to force. Second, argumentum ad hominem. Argumentum ad hominem abusive. So there are three variety. Three. Um, I do have a day. There are two variety for argumentum ad hominem. This is for abusive. Argument directed to the man. It is committed when instead of trying to disprove the truth of what is asserted, one attacks the person who made the assertion or has something to do with genetic fallacy. Like for example, I don't believe on what he said because he was so ugly. That is fallacy. Dili pwede nga, dili ka motoo because maot siya, di ba? Fallacy na siya. I don't believe on what he said because he was so ugly. It is considered abusive because the argument is directed to the man. Sakit kay siya, di ba? Igo kay siya. Aka nang... Uh, personal kaysa. So, that is considered fallacy. Argumentum ad hominem abusive. Third, argumentum ad hominem circumstantial. Meaning, dili siya abusive, not just, not, it is not directed to man, but it is circumstantial, depending on circumstances. It pertains to relationship between a person's beliefs and his circumstances, like place of birth, social status, or economic status, or poisoning the well. Diba? Example, because he is a poor person, therefore he can't be trusted as the president of the organization. So, circumstantial, social status, economic status. It doesn't mean, nga poor person ka, you cannot be trusted as president of the organization. And, and the, the example is fallacy. Because he is a poor person, therefore he can't be trusted as the president of the organization. This argument is considered fallacy, argumentum ad hominem circumstantial. Number four, argumentum ad ignorantiam, argument from ignorance. Another 
uh, type of uh, informal fallacy, argument from ignorance. It is committed whenever it is argued that a proposition is true simply on the basis that has not been proved false or that is false because it, is, it has not been proved true. Argumentum ad ignorantiam. Meaning, it is argued that the proposition is true kay wala siya na prove na false. False siya because wala siya na prove na true. Argumentum ad ignorantiam. Argument from ignorance. Example, I don't believe that God exists because I have not seen Him. That is a false argument. Fallacy. Because, di ba kita, uh, regardless of religion, we believe that God exists even if we have not seen Him. And the statement um, I made mention kanina, that is a fallacy. I don't believe that God exists because I have not seen Him. Meaning, argument from ignorance. The proposition is said to be um, true simply in the basis that has not been proved false. Next, argumentum ad misericordiam or appeal to PT. Meaning, once you appeal to PT or you use PT in, in your argument, may bahimo po siya nga fallacy. It is committed when PT is appealed to for the sake of getting a conclusion accepted, where the conclusion is concerned with a question of fact rather than a matter of sentiment. Example, Sir, Teacher, Please allow me to pass the subject. You know, we sold our belongingness due to my studies. That is a fallacy. So, dili, dili necessary nga mag-appeal to piti ka. Pag ma-appeal to piti ka, then the argument became or become um, a fallacy. Dili nga nga, sir, papasara ko, kagabaligya, binang mo mong kabaw, o mong masakan. Oh, I don't care, di ba? In, in reality, I don't care. Your, 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 um, um, that is your responsibility to comply with all the requirements of the subjects for you to pass. Not on how, how much you have sold, di ba? How, how much of your belongingness um, sold for your, uh, due to your studies. So, the example is a fallacy. Argumentum ad misericordia. So, pag na yung mo doon sa kuha, sir, pasara ko, sir, kay, kanang, kanang, pasara ko, sir, malui ka, kay, kanang, kanang akong mama, naging ani, akong papa, and ana. O, dili na pwede. That is considered a fallacy. Appeal to PT. So, meaning, you can pass a subject as long as you can comply all the requirements. Not on uh, appealing to PT. Argumentum ad populum, people or gallery. It committed in direct and emotional appeal to the people or to the gallery to win their assent to a conclusion and supported by good evidence. Example, lack soap used by 9 out of 10 Hollywood actors. The statement is, the argument is, fallacy. It is commonly used in advertisements. So some, adver or some, I should say some, not, not all, advertisement are some advertisement are advertisements are misleading, di ba? Deceiving, di ba? It doesn't mean nga um, well, lack so effective na siya because it is used by 9 out of 10 Hollywood actors. So, that is a false. The fallacy. False mistaken belief. Next, argumentum ad vericonjam. Appeal to authority. A proposition is claimed to be literally true on the basis of its assertion by an authority whose competence lies in a different field. Kita, particular kita, o person in authority, in, in fact, class, ang usa ka elementary pupil, di na siya basta-basta mo tuo, di ba? Kung dili, is, dili, uh, um, di siya basta-basta mo tuo sa imuha, di ba? Compared to his or her teacher. Mas mo tuo ba siya kay teacher? We are, because we are particular with authority. Diba? Pero kung in line na, diba? appeal to authority, appeal to authority, mahimo na siyang false belief or fallacy. A proposition is claimed to be literally true on the basis of its assertion by an authority whose competence lies in different field. Diba? Argumentum ad vericonjam, appeal to authority. Like for example, if symptoms of hiccup or hiccup persists, Consult a dentist. Diba? Different field. Diba? Consult a dentist if 
um, or uh, dental problems, imuhang problema. Diba? Appeal to authority. Oh, but, 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 um, my grammar is said to be, um, uh, my, my essay is said to be grammatically correct because the mayor of the town said so. It doesn't mean nga, yun sa mong mayor, sa mayor nga, uh, manitot ka yung pagkasulat, and then your output is um, grammatically correct because the mayor in the first place is not person in authority in terms of grammar unless the mayor is uh, English major or graduated uh, degree in English. Next, accident. Applying a general rule to a particular case whose accidental circumstances render the rule inapplicable. Example, thou, sh thou shall not kill. Diba? This is a general rule. Diba? One of the Ten Commandments. So, thou, sh thou shall not kill. So, if mosquito bites you, thou shall not kill. That makes the statement a fallacy. Diba? It doesn't mean the general rule um, is applicable to particular cases. So, if you apply it, uh, you apply a general rule to a particular case, then the fallacy, the argument is said to the, the argument is said to be fallacy. Converse argument is the opposite of the fallacy of accident or hasty general generalizations, meaning over generalizations. It is committed when one concludes that something is true or good under certain circumstances of time, place, or condition to the truth or goodness of the same thing under all circumstances. The boy I've met at the gate is handsome. The boy I've met at the cafeteria is handsome. The boy I've met at the library is handsome. Therefore, all boys in our school are handsome. That is hasty generalizations. Okay, false cause, superstitious beliefs, meaning um, it's not it's not good, huh? especially in philosophy, in logic, it's not good to rely on superstitious beliefs. It doesn't mean nga, katol imong palad, na nakai kwarta madawa, di ba? The first of this is more general and means to mistake what is not the cause, what is not the cause of a given effect for its real cause. The second is the inference that one event is the cause of another from the mere fact that the first occurs earlier than the second. Example, my palms are itchy. Most probably, I will receive money. That is fallacy, false cause, superstitious beliefs. Possibly nga, nanakay kubal, di ba? Or hugaw yung kamot, di ba? Motong katol, o naikagid, something. But, not on, you will receive money. Your itchy palm has no connection with receiving money. Is that clear? Superstitious beliefs. It may, it is a fallacy. Diba? Banalitan. Sakit akong ngipon. Ano man? Nisumbag o kuan. Kay nasumbagan o kuan. Diba? Natandugan o um, diliing mo nato. Tanaw ilaga or diliing mo nato on sa pa. That is still considered fallacy. A false cause. It has no scientific basis. Diba? Petitio principi. Begging the question or circular reasoning. Patuyuk-tuyuk lang reasoning. It is committed when the conclusion of the argument is itself a premise, either explicitly or implicitly. Example, some students are present because they are not absent. Meaning, the reasoning is circular. It is common to students, ha? Uh, patuyuk-tuyuk lang, patuyuk-tuyuk. Some students are present because they are not absent, of course, begging the question. That is a fallacy. Complex question. So, na po yung mga complex question yung considered as fallacy. It consists in asking question which already presupposed that a definite answer has already been given to a prior question that was not even asked. Na po yung mga pangutana na, so, sa imong pangutana na anakay buot pa sabot, na anakay buot tubag. Diba? Like for example, complex question. Like for example, have you stopped illegal drugs. Di pag ikaw pang utanon ani, what would you, uh, uh, kanang, usay mong bation, di ba? Usay mong bation. Have you stopped illegal drugs? This mean, pag mutubag ka o yes, 
na stop na kang illegal drugs. Prior to that, you are taking illegal drugs. May kag no, ang buto sa buta na, you are still taking illegal drugs. Wala kay padulungan. This is complex question. That is a fallacy. Ignoratio elenchi, irrelevant conclusion. It is committed when an argument purporting to establish a particular conclusion is directed to proving a different conclusion. One either proves what is not in question to be proved or disprove what has not been asserted. Like for example, wala connection at all ang premise or conclusion. Mindanao is facing economic crisis. Therefore, let's put an end to the conflict between the government troops and the Abu Sayyaf groups. It has no connection at all. Diba? Irrelevant conclusion. Ang, ang premise is all about economic crisis. Ang conclusion is all about uh, war, conflict. Diba? Peace. Peace issues. So it has no connection at all. That makes the argument fallacy. Next division is fallacy of ambiguity. Correction class, this is fallacy of Ambiguity. So, typographical error po. Fallacies of ambiguity. So, fallacies that rests upon the lack of lack of preciseness in the words used to thoughts. Ambiguity in the first place. Ambiguity. Na ay words nga, nakakreate naka siya o ambiguity. Kalibog. Di ba? Kalibog. Nalibog ka tungod sa usaka word. That makes the argument fallacy. Di ba? We have... Um, three under this division, equivocation, amphiboly, and accent. Okay, in equivocation, it consists in basing an argument on words used in different meanings. So, nagamit ka og word used in different many meanings. Diba? That makes the fallacy, uh, that makes the argument a fallacy. Okay, for example, the word star. A star is a heavenly body. And that is the first premise. The bang? The first premise or the major premise. A star is a heavenly body. Ang star din nga refer is star. The ba? Like sun. The ba? Heaven, in heavenly but nasa universe. Star is a heavenly body. Now next, next premise is Katrina Halili is a star. The ba? Si Katrina Halili star. Therefore, Katrina Halili is a heavenly body. That is a fallacy. Because ang refer diri nga star kay Katrina Halili is um, actress, di ba? Act actress, artist, di ba? Star. So, lahi po ang star ng heavenly body. Therefore, the argument is said to be fallacy, equivocation. Consists in basing an argument on words used in different meanings. So, the confusion is caused by a certain word, um, star. Next, amphiboly. Amphiboly, it results in using phrases or entire sentences ambiguously. It may be true in one interpretation, but false in another. Okay, example. He is a criminal lawyer. So, ambiguous ang meaning sa sentence. Diba? He is a criminal lawyer. Lawyer. It can be you are referring to a lawyer who is a criminal, or you are referring to a lawyer of a criminal, de ba? In a uh, lawyer handling criminal cases, he is a criminal lawyer. So the state, the 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 argument is fallacy. So libog siya. It may be true in one interpretation, but false in another. He is a criminal lawyer. So you are referring to pwede nga you are referring to a lawyer nga criminal. Pwede po ka, nag-refer po ka sa lawyer nga handling criminal cases. Diba? Criminal lawyer. Next is accent. Ambiguity which arises from false accent or false emphasis in speech. For example, slow men at work. So, tungod sa accent, sa, 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 sa iyo po pagbutang sa, sa kama, Diba? Sa accent, no, sa accent mismo sa sa phrase or sa sa sa, sa phrase nakakreate sa og ambiguity and that is fallacy, diba? Slow men at work. So, dili mo masama-sabtan. Whereas um 
pag tarungin mo siya o tarungin mo yung accent, mas masabda ni mo siya. Um, slow man at work. That is the correct accent. Pero kanina yung accent, slow man at work. That is a fallacy based on accent. Next division is grammatical analogy. Okay. Um, sa fallacy of relevance, we are referring, to, uh, na, nakafocus ka sa relevant sa argument. Fallacy of ambiguity, na yung mga words or phrases nga that makes the argument ambiguous. That makes it a fallacy. Now, there is a grammatical analogy. We will focus on grammar itself. Diba? The composition, um, the usage, diba? the division, many more. So, there are three, three uh, informal fallacies under this division. Composition, division, and false dichotomy. When we say composition, it is committed when we take jointly what should be taken separately? So, composition ang tawag ana. We take jointly, gipo na to, ang dapat bulagon. Diba? What should be taken separately? When we infer what a property belonging to each member of a group or a class must belong to a group or a class as a whole. Example, Ilocanos are tight-fisted, but you are an Ilocano. Therefore, you are tight-fisted. This is an example of composition. When we take jointly, what should be taken separately? Uh, knowing a person who is tight-fisted does not refer to a member of a cultural group or something, diba? Um, if you take jointly, what should be taken separately, then that is fallacy and their composition. So, dilita nan ilokano, tight-fisted. So, diba? You are tight-fisted. So, dahilahi, wad na ilok na ilokano po nga tight-fisted na po'y dili. So, it should be uh, taken separately. Division is the opposite. It consists taking separately what should be taken jointly. Diba? It should be, uh, it consists in taking separately what should be taken jointly. Dapat, um, um, unsa to'y dapat, um, 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 what, what should be taken jointly should not be taken separately. This is division. Okay, Benigno Faral is a fra fraternity member. But all fraternity members love hazing. Therefore, Benigno Faral loves hazing. Diba? Si Benigno Faral is a fraternity member. But all fraternity member lo members love hazing. Therefore, Benigno Faral loves hazing. So, division. Taking separately what should be taken jointly. Okay, I have also one example for division. Okay, I will look for another example for division. Okay, makalibog siya gamay compared sa composition. Okay. Okay, division consists in taking separately what should be taken jointly. I have here another example. A is part of B. Uh, the logical form is A is part of B. B has property X. 
therefore a has property x it should be taken it should be taken jointly diba? division consists in taking separately what should be taken jointly example his house is about half size of the most houses in the neighborhood therefore therefore his doors must all must all be about three and one half feet high another example I heard that the Catholic Church was involved in a sex scandal cover-up. Therefore, my 102-year-old Catholic neighbor who frequently attends church is guilty as well. This is fallacy of division. In fearing that something is true of one or the more of the parts from the fact that it's true of the whole division. Okay, exception. But when a part of a whole has a property that, by definition, causes the part to take on the property. So that is fallacy of division. Inferring that something is true of one or more of the parts from the fact that it is true of the whole. And the opposite is fallacy of composition. Next is false dichotomy. It is committed when the arguer presents two alternatives as if they were the only alternatives where a third alternative may still be possible and the arguer then proceeds to eliminate the alternative he dislikes and then use as a conclusion the alternative which he favors. False dichotomy. It is committed when the arguer presents two alternatives as if they were only two alternatives where a third alternative may still be possible and the arguer then proceeds to eliminate the alternative he dislikes and this use a conclusion, the alternative which he favors. So false dichotomy. Committed if the arguer presents only two alternatives, but pwede pa nga magtulo or apat, di ba? And you eliminate the alternative he dislikes and then use the conclusion, the alternative which he favors. That is false dichotomy. Next, realize that the methods of philosophy that lead to wisdom. For double 1999, although philosophy is an organized body of knowledge, the subject matter of philosophy is questions, and which have three major characteristics. Philosophical questions have answers, but the answers remain in dispute even because even philosophers disagree with one another. Philosophical questions cannot be settled by science, common sense, or faith. In an akalisod ng mga philosophical questions. Philosophical questions are of perennial intellectual interest to human beings. The methodology or, or method that philosophers use to address philosophical questions is critical thinking. And critical thinking is the careful, reflective, rational, and systematic approach to questions of every general interest. Critical thinking means understanding of philosophy and refraining from merely giving claims but through careful thought, one reason through argumentations. One tries to become a philosopher because one possesses and cherishes above the rest of humanity the love of wisdom, which is a part of all human nature, and because one more reflectively and critically brings to light and examines the largest and widest implications of the life of all human beings. For Mabulok and Pasqua, 2008, critical thinking is a lifelong process of self-assessment that further consists of defining analyzing and devising solutions, arriving at reasonable and informed conclusions, applying understanding and knowledge to new and different problems, willingness to change one point of view, continually examining and re-examining ideas, and willingness to say, I don't know. To be a critical thinker class should know how to devise solutions, to analyze and then define, diba? Should know how to arrive at reasonable and informed conclusions, you should know how to apply in understanding and knowledge in different problems, the new or different problems. You should have the willingness to change your own point of view, diba? if necessary. And you should know how to continually examine and re-examine ideas and the willingness to say, I don't know. Take note class, saying I don't know cannot lose your knowledge or cannot delete makawala sa new confidence. Diba? Even critical thinker, critical thinker na na siya, it has the willingness to say, I don't know. Especially if you don't know something about that particular topic. So, kung kamo, diba, as to be a critical thinker, dili ka na pa, pataka-taka, bisag di ka balo, halang bula-bula, diba? It's good naman to say, I don't know, if you don't know really, diba? 
what is the topic or what is the topic all about. That is another um, characteristics of being a critical thinker. The attributes of a critical thinker includes always looks for evidence to support assumption and beliefs, adjust opinions, looks for proof, examines problems, and rejects irrelevant and incorrect information. That would be all. I hope you have learned something about from methods of philosophizing. God bless and have a nice day ahead.